Hi, this is Artifax from Mars, and this is, I just want to showcase the uh, new alien artifacts. After my uh, previous version of it was attacked, I was told it wasn't possible for it to be attacked, but it was. And son of a bitch uh, destroyed two of my skyboxes, and I decided to move to get away from them. Anyway, this is the newest incarnation I've been working on. The time's very limited. I wish people would uh, uh, submit artifact models and photos because it would help me out tremendously. Anyway, this is the main building. I'm going to show you what's inside here. And I'll show you uh, some of the other things I have going here. I think you'll be impressed. I used to have photo gallery in here, and then it wasn't working right. The resin system. So, I'm just going to do some introductory stuff in here, and then we'll go into one of the rooms. This is an artifact model room. Currently, there's two resin areas, and I'm thinking about adding a third. Just haven't been able to make up my mind exactly what I wanted to do. I just read the display. Just to show it to you. I used internet trickery to, uh... I use the internet trickery basically to achieve that effect uh, it looks like writing on the wall. Not necessarily internet trickery, but just computer tricks. The Spirit Soul one, I showed that before in a previous video. So, this is the resin room. Anybody watched my visit, but last video on Spirit? seen this before. I'm going to clear this out and we'll go uh, take a look at other things. Well, it didn't clear. This resin system is highly temperamental. There we go. Isn't that one ugly map? Well, of course, he's hard to control. He's got a mind of his own. Here's the uh, sign to join Martian Artifact Research Society on Second Life. Basically, you touch it. And there's one other area of interest in this building. This is the main introductory building. I did not design this building, so I bought it on Marketplace. This is a little role play area. I decided just to do the role play area in this room rather than put it in saucer skybox this time. I think it'll get the point across. You role play uh, being abducted by the greys or whatever. Hopefully nothing as ugly as this thing with the tail. Now we'll go over and take a look at the other uh, resin area. I uh, have more room here than I have frims because well, I got 117 fewer frims here, but almost as much room to work with. This is the same effect I use. PNG files, and most of them are, uh, most of the, uh, prims, most of the prim will be transparent, but just the writing is visible.
This is the Battle of Los Angeles uh, display. Basically, uh, in 1942, uh, I don't know if you know the history, in 1942, American aircraft, anti-aircraft gunners opened fire on what they thought was a Japanese uh, plane, but it wasn't. And they fired well over a thousand rounds, I forget how many trying to down this thing, and it was to no avail. I think that was, uh, yeah, February 25, 1942. Nothing, uh, there's, nothing was damaged. Whatever it was, they didn't succeed in shooting it down. So, still a mystery what it was. And it is on, they do have photos of it, by the way. Should be a photo right here. Yeah, I guess not, but anyway. I'm not going to drag this out very long, because i got to get moving. We go in here, if I can get him to cooperate. This is a little UFO gallery. This one's non resing I just basically... set it up in here there'll be some more photos I use these cubes because I can get uh, four facings of them basically and that helps me with the crims and serving crims is always top priority now somebody that comes here to visit they are my guests they're not a customer because I don't have anything to sell you at this time you're not a customer. If you come here, you're my special guest. I had to add some security <coughs> Sorry, coughing spell. There's my uh, greeter, and I have a security gadget uh, from Voodoo Security on uh, Second Life to help me out, because I, like I said, that one uh, griefer destroyed my other place. <laughs> Here's three more of the UFO posts. These are going to be to help fill in space. And what I want to do is put some displays in here. And what the displays will do, I'm going to have, what I want to have is go through the pictures and find a picture that has just one simple little object here, one simple object there, and rest them on the displays like a museum. And then... Uh, that's how we'll work this. It'll be a museum type format. But of course you'll be able to rise different. I think the displays are going to be permanent. But uh, you'll be able to res different photos. In the same basic format. Only it's going to be s smaller single object photos. I think that's the difference, so there'll be a bunch of displays, hopefully, if I can ever get this started. That's what I'm hoping for, at any rate. Well, that thing is hot to try, doesn't it? Well, that's about it. Uh... That'll be the museum there, and I'm hoping the I'll work on this piecemeal. I'm hoping that some people will introduce, you know, send me some uh, artifact models so I can include them in here. It really sucks when you gotta sit there and design them and then script them. 
that can be a pain in the neck. It just takes time, which I don't have uh, very much of these days. That's about it. Thanks for watching. This is the new alien artifacts. Yet another incarnation. Now hopefully it is open for business. Uh, I did put it on search. So hopefully we'll get it going here and get some people in here learning about UFOs and alien artifacts on Mars and such. This is Artifacts of Mars, reminding you that you're being lied to about Mars and about UFOs. Thanks for watching. Bye now.